Hey everybody, I just want to make a short video on what's been driving me crazy lately. Uh, especially in the small expos, uh, misla mislabeling um, boas just to try to sell them. Uh, I, that's the way I feel about it. I don't know if it's the truth, but um, because everybody knows that there's a lot more people out there that like ball pythons that um, <clears throat> because they stay smaller. So they're mislabeling boas, saying dwarf boas, uh, because and saying they stay smaller, so people will buy them. Uh, this instant, they're just labeling it dwarf boa and putting a price, not explaining what they're bred with, what the genetics are, or anything like that. Come to find out that uh, it was an, a Colombian albino, like Carl Sharp, um, bred to a blood boa, which is a Central American. Uh, that no dwarf boa bred to a Colombian is no longer called dwarf boa, by the way. Um, it's a mixture of both, so it no longer stays small. Now, if it's like five, six, seven, eight years old and small as a ball python, that means it's been maintenance fed all of its life. Um, uh, so, uh, that, that just, that's just driving me crazy. Um, but a Colombian call bred to a blood boa does not make it a dwarf boa just because a blood boa is a Central American boa that stays smaller than the Colombian, which Central Americans do stay a bit smaller, um, and island boas stay a bit smaller. Um, so, but that's what this one was labeled as, and just dwarf boa. Uh, which is mislabeled because it was bred from a Colombian albino to a Central American. Um, so, but uh, that's misleading your customers. What your customers are basically doing is going on Facebook and posting it on all these pages and saying, I bought this as a dwarf boa. What's the locality? Um, you got to tell them the locality. You got to tell them what it's bred with. Uh, if it's, if the parent was a um, blood boa bred or a het blood boa bred to a uh, het call um, or visual or what have you, you got to let them know that. Uh, instead of just labeling dwarf boa, you got to let them know, hey, this is what it's bred with, this is what it is, uh, and label it as Central American or Colombian. Um, don't just put it as dwarf or semi-dwarf or whatever like that because that's just a gimmick to get people to buy it. Uh, customers are better than that. Um, so instead of, you know, the customers going on Facebook and all these pages asking what this would be because they bought it from this and this or traded it for this and this, label it what it actually is and explain what it actually is. Um, that's the only thing that's, that's it, well, not the only thing, but that's one of the things that's been driving me crazy and I just wanted to make this video about it. Um, but uh, if you are doing that and you don't really know any better, um, get a hold of some breeders that's been doing it for a while and ask them what they are. That way you can label it in the shows what they actually are. All right, thank you.